What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Ghost of Shoshima. And today I want to give you a guide of how to get the longbow. Now this is going to be a pretty lengthy video, so you'll kind of have to bear with me on that. But I wanted to make sure you guys didn't miss any of these steps. I picked up this kind of, you know, rumor or, you know, someone that you talked to here at the survivor camp. But as long as you have completed uh, the Warrior's Code, the tale of the lady and the blood on the grass, you can return to the springs and, of course, the musician the storyteller will be there waiting for you. Uh, you can skip by this pretty easily if you sped through the first act and you're into the second region of the game, so keep that in mind. But as long as you're still in the first act, you can find uh, this very easily, like I said, here in the Springs. Once you're at the Springs, of course, you will see the musician, the storyteller. He'll be sitting here. You'll go into a cutscene. He'll start to tell you the story about the longbow. I'm not going to play the entire cutscene through a lot of these, the, you know, these different cutscenes that are in kind of this quest. But I wanted you guys to see exactly what you're going to see on screen. As long as you're seeing what you're seeing right now, you know you have the right mission and you're starting off the, the first part of the longbow. Now, once you sit here and listen, of course, to the tale that he's going to tell you, which is very neat. All these kind of mythic tales are very cool, in my opinion. You don't have to go very far from this area. Uh, you're going to look for pretty much some uh, bluish, purplish-looking flowers on the ground. They're really kind of almost like electric blue, I guess you would say. But... Uh, you're going to find these flowers in a little cave uh, or by a cave not far from the area you're in right now. So if you can see what I did, I just kind of hopped off right there behind where the storyteller was. Went up this little small uh, wooden bridge that's on the side of this cliff. Kind of go over this next bridge and through some bamboo. And you'll be almost there already. This is a very close uh, kind of start to the longbow quest. Now once you're in the Hidden Springs Forest, you're going to continue to ride, just continue to follow the wind. And you're going to see the area that you need to go to uh, right up here in front of you. It's, like I said, it's going to be a kind of a large rock face. Not massive, but a fair size uh, rock face. And as you can see, those flowers are kind of just all over the ground right around this area. Now, once you get up to this rock face, there will be a small crack in the rocks uh, right in front of you pretty much. And that's where you have to go kind of slide through that crack. So you can kind of see the area that I'm in right now. You can kind of see exactly where that is. As long as you can see that tree right here, uh, kind of straight up above me, you're going to be in the right place for this um, entrance. Now, if you come in kind of a bit on the other side of the rock, just make sure you follow uh, the rock around until you find this rock face. But you can kind of see the way I'm facing here on the map. Once you enter this, you'll have to kind of go in uh, through this little small room and you will come down to the bottom and you will find some uh, items that you need to uh, kind of, you know, look over. Some things you need to look at. And one of them is going to be a painting. This painting is going to give you the location or the next location that you need to go search. So like once I said, once you hop down in here, you will see two things that you have to look at. Two things that you need to examine. Uh, of course, the first thing is this painting. And this painting will always be available down in the right hand corner. All you have to do is uh, swipe left on your touchpad on your PS4 controller to kind of get that image to blow up just a little bit bigger. I'll show you that here in just a second. So once you kind of can see this image here now on the screen, of course you can swipe right to make it small again. You will just go out of this cave that you have entered and kind of go back outside the way you came in. Uh, and you will see uh, kind of a small cutscene with a, a, a person that really does not want you to be looking for the longbow. Now, once you get done with that cutscene, we're going to move on to the next part. But, of course, like I said, you're trying to go out of this uh, rock, kind of pretty much like you came in, jump back across the top, and then you're going to go right back out the small kind of crack that you came in. And that is when it will prompt the cutscene to come up. And, of course, you're going to get some fire ar arrows fired down on you, someone telling you, like I said, to stop searching for the longbow. And that is going to be where you're going to go into the next part. Now, the next part of this is a little bit longer. It's a little bit harder to get to than this. It's not really hard, but it's just a longer kind of ride to get to than this part or this part was. Now, just keep in mind, you're going to head straight the way I'm looking right here. Just follow the wind. There will be some enemies around. I'm going to kind of take some of this out uh, as we go along with the video because there can be several enemies throughout the woods or throughout these bamboo kind of forests that you may or may not have to fight. Sometimes you will run into them. Sometimes you may not. I tried to avoid some of them, but of course that did not work too well. But that can kind of show you the location that we're going to travel to now. So once you kind of get going, like I said, straight ahead following the wind through the bamboo forest, you're going to run into a bunch of enemies, which I just cut that out. And you're going to continue to head straight, uh, kind of up the 
the rock face to your right. Um, of course, I come across some more enemies here, but you always want to keep that rock face to your right. And you're going to see why here in just a second. So once you defeat those enemies, just get back on your mount. Sometimes, like I said, you may not even run into those. But as you can see, that rock face is always kind of to the right side of my mount while I'm riding. Or I'm about to get on foot here in just a second, kind of show you guys exactly where I'm at. But you're just going to keep that water to your right, the kind of coast to your right, and go pretty much straight up this hill. Uh, when you go straight up this hill, you're going to go up this hill for a pretty good ways. You're always going to want to go up before you go down, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you don't want to go scale down the rocks. You want to stay on this path going up the hill. That way you can find some more blue flowers here towards the top and follow them down to the next area that you need to enter. So pretty much, like I said, just keep, it, keep the water and the cliff to your right and continue just going straight up this hill. This is going to be the longest part of the video. This is a pretty good uh, trek up through here. I was not quite sure exactly where this was, so I was kind of off you know, on foot to make sure that I was going in somewhat the right direction. I was not sure how obvious these flowers are going to be. They're very obvious here in a second, but I wasn't sure if they were going to be kind of like on the cliff side, you know, kind of on the ground up here. But just continue going up this rock face. Like I said, just staying right to the edge of it with the rock face and the ocean to your right. You can continue to go this way. Uh, just can keep continuing going this way. And it pretty much is going to flatten out, and then you're going to go up a little bit more. And once you pretty much top this uh, cliff right here, or the top of this hill right here, you will begin to see some of these flowers on the ground. Now, once these, you see these flowers, you're going to pretty much take a kind of a little bit of a right and just follow those flowers down to the entrance of this next area that you need to go into. As you can see, I finally have gotten to where the flowers are. It's kind of dark right around this area, uh, depending on what time of day you're up here. So you might, you may walk by them. But as you can see, as soon as you kind of top that hill, the flowers uh, are kind of going off on a trail to the right. You're just going to continue to follow them down and kind of keep going down uh, until you get to a very nice looking area. You're, you're not going to be able to miss this if you continue to follow these flowers kind of through the woods and kind of just this trail is going to be to your right and of course the rock cliff and the ocean are going to be to your hard right on the screen now but just continue to follow these down uh, all the way through these woods uh, they'll be kind of spotty at times to begin with i, I was almost thought I, I had gotten lost i guess but just continue to follow them down you'll keep seeing them in front of you and you're just going to kind of tear down from this cliff down to the water and that is why you needed to start kind of coming up instead of you know just trying to scale that rock right off the bat I'm, you may could get there if you scaled it to begin with and went straight down. I'm not 100% sure, but just to be safe, I would recommend going up the hill and then going back down because, like I said, that is where all the flowers are anyway, and you're going to be able to you know, get the notification that there's some more flowers. You must be kind of on the right track, that kind of thing. Like I said, you're just going to continue down. And as you can see, like I said, once you get down here, you know you're in the right place because there are flowers absolutely everywhere. And as you can see in front of us, that is the uh, location of the painting that we have. This is the location that we're looking for. So once you get down here, you know you are in the right place. And all you're going to need to do, just make sure, like I said, I, I was looking to make sure everything was right. There is a small hole underneath this little rock. You're just going to need to cross the water and enter this little uh, cavern, just like you did the one to start the uh, quest. Now, there was no enemies or anything else around here that I saw, so... You don't have to worry about fighting anything else. Most of the fighting is kind of between point A and point B for where you know we were before this and now. There was a lot of uh, enemies that seemed to be in those uh, those bamboo forests. But you're just going to need to swim across this. Once you swim across this area, it's pretty much the same concept as the last cavern we were in. You're going to find another painting for the last location of where the longbow is located. So just enter this cavern. Uh, once you have entered this cavern, you will have the same thing happen again. Uh, that you did the last time. You will come back out once you've discovered the painting and you will be told again with a little small cut saying that you do not need to be looking for it, that kind of thing. Uh, the easiest way, in my opinion, to get to the next location is fast travel if you do have fast travel available. Now, you can follow the wind back out. That is perfectly fine if you do not have some fast travel locations. But I'll show you again here, or just a second on the mini-map, kind of those fast travel locations that you can go to make this a lot easier the camp that i was talking about where you kind of get the hint kind of at the beginning of the video that is the easiest place to travel to because it is right beside pretty much where you're needing to go 
You can also travel back to the springs. There's several locations, as you can see, kind of where the circle is where we're needing to go that you can fast travel back to. So if you have any of these available, I would highly recommend using them. Like I said, if you do have this camp right over here, that is the best place to go, the camp right down on the left kind of of the circle. That is the best place to go because it is pretty much right where or right in the vicinity of where you're needing to be. But just fast travel back or, like I said, if you do not have fast travel locations, you can just follow the wind. If you are at this camp, uh, like I said, the easiest way to do this, or if you're coming from the springs, you just want to come towards this camp, which will be a question mark, of course, on the mini map. Uh, there will be a bird that will lead you here if you do not have it unlocked. But once you're in this location, you can see here on the mini map now, there will be some bamboo kind of all around us, as you see. And you're just going to need to pretty much go straight south. So you just turn around and go right out of this bamboo down this hill and the area that we're looking for is going to be right here in your face in just a second as you can see those blue flowers kind of going up this rock face uh, a little bit to the left of the screen so this is the area or the final area for the longbow once you enter this area you will find the longbow you will be able to pick it up uh, you will kind of go through a little bit of a cut scene and then you're going to have to fight a boss i'm going to cut the boss fight out because it is pretty neat you might want to experience that for yourself for the first time so i don't want to ruin it by you know spoiling anything for the boss fight it is a pretty little neat scene but uh once that boss fight is complete you will have that longbow now this longbow is very unique it does have some very strong damage it does have a lot deeper zoom than the other the the, the smaller half bow that you get keep in mind it does have a longer pull so it's not as quick of a firing weapon but it is a very good weapon for long range. But once you're down kind of in this, or you kind of come around this rock and you're down in this little hole, you'll see this shrine here. That is where the bow will be laying. Uh, once you complete, like I said, the cutscene, you fight the boss, the bow will be yours. And like I said, it is a very good bow in my opinion. I, I think it's a very uh, unique kind of weapon in game. And it is very good for long range combat. It may not be a weapon you're wanting to use in short range combat. Just keep that in mind. Because like I said, it does have a pretty long pull. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps you find this locate or find this, you know, the longbow kind of with this with this guide. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. If you'd like to join the Discord community, all the information is linked down in the description. And also be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs, uh, desks, mice, keyboards. Uh, mouse pads, all kind of stuff to fit your gaming needs. And like I said, all their information is down in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.